Iron Rebellion pilots, this is Waffles, bringing you a progress log video for Iron Rebellion version 0.9290. Whether you've been naughty or nice, the devs have dropped a holiday update for you that is sure to keep your trigger fingers happy. New major weapons and tools, finalized artwork in one of the oldest maps, and a bunch of stocking stuffer features for pilots both new and old. Let's see what kind of toys Santa brought you. Enemy pinging and distance. You'll notice two new things when you use the ping feature in Iron Rebellion. One, it'll show you the exact distance of the ping, more on that later, and two, you can now ping and track enemy mechs. Pinging enemies tracks them for a short while, even if they move behind cover, which will make engagements far more interesting. Now when you suddenly come face to face with an opponent, you have a choice. Focus on getting off the first shot as fast as possible, or ping them and then engage to give you a leg up in the firefight if either of you start maneuvering around cover. As always, your teammates can see all your pings, whether you're pinging a piece of terrain or an enemy mech, so if you haven't been using this feature, you might want to consider starting. I typically find that teams that utilize both voice chat and pinging are a force to be reckoned with. Final Art on Crossing Crossing is one of Iron Rebellion's oldest and most beloved maps, and when you hop in, you'll notice it's sporting a final coat of paint, not just in looks, but in design as well. The devs have stated that this map should reflect the quality bar they hope to hit on all remaining maps in the game going forward, so we hope you enjoy it. Teridian's Junkyard Speaking of maps, you'll notice a new beta map added to the pool, created not by the devs, but by one of our own community members, Teridian. For those of you that don't know, the devs have created custom documentation for the community built around supporting custom maps if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Teridian's Junkyard is obviously a riff off the devs' original Junkyard map, but much larger, with plenty of nooks, crannies, and areas to explore, the garage in particular being one of the most fun and engaging parts to play in. Keep in mind this map is very much work in progress though, so mind any bugs you may come across. Slide Select Sectors for all the ace pilots out there, you can now slide select damage sectors for much faster repairs when time is not on your side. It'll take some practice, but if you can master it, it'll give you an edge on the battlefield. And frankly, if you can pull it off, it just looks straight up badass. Now onto the big Christmas presents. New weapons and tools. Let's start with the artillery. Nothing feels more powerful than two giant cannons strapped to the shoulders of a heavy mech and there's nothing more terrifying than hearing those shells coming your way. Due to its enormous weight, the artillery is locked to the heavy class only, and although it requires a bit of skill to operate, it's absolutely devastating in the right hands, especially a team that works together to use it effectively. It's designed to flush out enemies and disrupt gameplay from long range, even halfway across most maps. You'll notice that aiming is a bit different for this weapon. Remember that distance marker we mentioned earlier? you'll need that to dial in the artillery to your desired distance with your right thumbsnick before firing. Rounds will take several seconds to arrive on target, so make sure to account for that timing. The artillery is obviously not intended as a direct combat weapon, but a way to force the enemy's hand if they're held up in a stronghold or a point on the map. If you have someone on your team playing this role, be sure to keep them well protected, as they'll be a sitting duck if engaged in close combat. All mechs are equipped with artillery threat sensors and will alert you if you're in range of a strike. But if all else fails, you can just look up at the sky because you'll certainly see and hear them coming. The Frag Launcher The Frag Launcher is a semi-automatic, belt-fed hull cracker. It's designed to give the pilot absolute control over the speed, angle, and destination time of frag explosives. To launch, press and hold the trigger. A short hold will launch slower, a long hold will increase the speed. Once they're ejected, tap the trigger again to detonate. If you don't detonate them manually, they will automatically explode after some time. The frag launcher is a powerhouse in close to mid-range combat, and is capable of taking down any mech class, as landing a direct hit can crack even the heaviest of adversaries. Personally, I'm in love with this weapon, single-handedly because of its ability to ricochet off any surface, allowing for extremely satisfying kills, even if my enemy has turned a corner. I've even used them defensively to get me out of some pretty hairy situations. Just remember those frag grenades take some time to get on target, so pilots with more direct weapons will have an advantage, so try to stay low, out of sight, and get the jump on enemies whenever you can when using them. The Smoke Launcher The Smoke Launcher is a quick deployment smoke system designed to drastically alter the battlefield. 
disrupt enemy sight, and provide cover for you and your squad. This tool is the first in an upcoming list of non-lethal tools that will be attachable on your chassis core arm system hardpoints. Use it offensively to cover your approach for you and your team as you capture points, or defensively if you find yourself and your team in a sticky situation. Just remember that smoke will not hide you if an enemy has already pinged you and is tracking you for those first few seconds. If you want to see an enemy team panic, lob a few of these bad boys into the point they're trying to capture and call for artillery support. Then watch them scatter like cockroaches. While it may not seem like a big deal, in the right hands and well coordinated, a few well placed smoke grenades can turn the tide of battle. As you can see, the devs have worked hard to ensure you have a boatload of new toys and maps to play with this holiday, so we hope you enjoy them. The devs have some exciting new updates to single player AI coming in 2023, giving new players a space to practice and grow their skills in a much safer, controlled environment. Keep your eyes on upcoming beta builds as that comes online. Speaking of betas, if you love Iron Rebellion and want to be part of our amazing community, check out the Discord channel in the description. Once in, you can find more information about our weekly beta playtests hosted by the devs, share feedback, and get to know our passionate pilots. You can also get your hands on that documentation I mentioned earlier about building custom maps. On behalf of the Iron Rebellion team, have a safe and happy holiday. And as always, many thanks to our community for all your support. Iron Rebellion wouldn't be where it is now without you, and we hope you continue to spread the word. I'll see you all on the battlefield. I might be carrying a frag launcher. Waffles out.